my name is Kim Tran and I work for the Fort Worth Public Library. This month, we're going to be celebrating Asian and Pacific Islander History Month. One of the challenges in our new Beanstalk app is to create an Asian dish to earn a badge. So I'd love to show you how to make egg drop soup. It's a very simple recipe with very minimal ingredients. So come along with me and I'll show you how to make this wonderful dish. For this recipe, which is egg drop soup, you will need four cups of chicken stock, two eggs, one tablespoon of cornstarch, soy sauce of the flavor of your liking, chives, I also like to add in some ginger, and white pepper. The first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my chicken stock, I'm gonna put it in this pot and set it on the pot to boil. Then, as it's boiling, I'm going to go ahead and whisk my eggs. If you want to be authentic, you can use chopsticks as you whisk your eggs. Chopsticks is one of my favorite tools in the kitchen. It doesn't scratch your pots and pans, and you can use it for almost anything. So let's go ahead, we're going to crack our eggs. And these are my farm backyard fresh eggs, which I love. You can use any type of eggs. Here we go, we're just gonna crack it. And I'm just gonna take my chopsticks and whisk it up. What I have here is a bowl of water. I'm gonna put the water into the cornstarch. This is a cornstarch slurry that I use in all sorts of things. If you've ever made stir fry, the best way to make your stir fry real saucy is to add a little bit of diluted cornstarch. What's interesting is that cornstarch, if you put it dry into hot boiling water, it will get clumpy. So it's important for you to dilute and get it real liquidy and turn into a slurry just like this. But a cornstarch slurry can be used in stir fries, it can be used in all sorts of things. So our stock is going to be boiled on the stovetop, and while that's going, I'm going to show you how you can peel your ginger. A good technique is to take the side of a spoon and to just peel it right here and just go down. You can also use a vegetable peeler. I just find that this is a good technique that doesn't cut away the good ginger parts. Now this is a personal preference, so you can just go ahead and put in however much ginger you prefer for your taste, or you can put zero ginger in it at all. Once you have your ginger peeled, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna cut it up into matchstick shapes. Go ahead and cut it down the middle, and then I'm gonna cut it again this way. Now I have these elongated flat pieces and from there I'm going to do this cut where I keep in contact with the board and then I just hold my knife. I pinch it right there at the base. I'm going to protect my fingers and I'm going to go back and forth like this. Okay, now that I have my ginger, I'm going to put this to the side and these are my washed chives. My chives are right here. I'm going to use that same technique. So pinching at the base, I'm going to put it right here at a 45 degree angle and protecting, protecting my fingers. I'm just going to go back and forth while keeping my knife in contact with the cutting board. This is my cornstarch mixture. And unfortunately, the powder, the cornstarch has settled onto the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and mix it up and make sure that it is a very consistent slurry. You don't want chunks in it. All right, once you have your mixture, I'm gonna pour it in. By incorporating the cornstarch, it's going to thicken up my soup. And then when I add the eggs, I'm actually gonna drop the eggs in and it's gonna become kind of like noodles. Okay, while we're waiting for this stock to come back to a boil, I'm going to go ahead and put in my ginger. This can be in there and the ginger will infuse its lovely flavor throughout the soup. It's almost getting to a boil. 
Now I'll tell you about this tool. This is the tool that I like to use when I'm dropping the eggs into my mixture. You can also use a fork or you can also use, I've seen some people use a whisk. And as you can see, my soup is a little bit more translucent and it's um, the bubbles are kind of staying in there more. So I have my egg mixture. I'm gonna kind of just get a little bit of it into it and I'm gonna let it drop into my soup. Hence egg drop. This is a fun activity and as you can see, uh, immediately, because it's boiling, as I'm dropping my egg drop in, it's becoming kind of like noodles. So I have this wonderful texture that's in my soup. People have different tastes when it comes to saltiness, so you can always place your soy sauce on the table and they can add their soy sauce as they like. I always like to under salt my food and add salt once it's finished because once you get too salty, you can never go back. All right, so now that we've added our soup, I'm going to add the garnish. I'm gonna add some fresh chives on top. We're gonna add some, again, the white pepper is what we traditionally use. Put some of that in there. Now that we've made our soup, let's go ahead and taste it. Mmm, very yummy. Very chickeny, gingery, has lots of egg texture. This is a wonderful dish that you can do at home. It's a great beginner dish, but definitely the product is way more complicated than the ingredients. So just from a couple of ingredients, you can make a wonderful appetizer for you and your family. Happy Asian American History Month, and I look forward to seeing you again. This is Kim, signing off. Bye!